Hi. So I'm going to try something different today. Uh, just check a few things before I actually begin. Make sure everything's in the right position. Wednesday last week, then this should be pretty familiar by now. Time just enjoy the music while I get things set up. Hit the clam jam, that's good. Um, okay. That's fine. Okay. Throw away the hearthstone. I don't know about that. Okay. So, what the deal is this. So I'm going to be trying a sort of grinding centric guide, um, uh, either in addition to rested XP or instead of, depending on the area I'm at and what level range, so I can sort of vary up my gameplay and get more skilled at combat in this game. We'll see. So, starting off is the racial starting area, and credit for this guide goes to Fluffy Sandwich. Okay, and I'll be uh, blowing up a certain portion of the guide to show. So, starting off, we're going to be questing in our starting area to level 7. So yeah, it's time to start. Ah, well, aren't you a sturdy looking one? Perhaps you can assist me with a thing or two. Not much help around here except for green apprentices, and they've other things to worry about. What do we have here? You look as though you might need something to keep your hands warm, HM. I'll tell you what would help. A pair of nice warm gloves. And being the kind soul that I am, I'd be more than happy to provide you with a suitable pair. I've one condition, however. I need you to go get me some wolf meat. Nice arrangement, HM. You bring me some wolf meat, and I'll make sure you don't lose any digits to frostbite. Well, what do you say? So, yeah. And I'm I'm not going to be doing this for three hours at a time. It's not meant for that. I am going to be doing uh, maybe one hour at a time each session. And in the beginning, it's only going to be for... 
like one day out of a, out of the week themed around a specific class. So today is Thunderous Thursday. And um, you may have seen this past Wednesday that I played my warrior. Um, I wanted to start with him because I felt like playing a melee class that didn't need mana. Something like that. And uh, on the following week, I will introduce my druid for Feral Friday. But that'll be next week. The week after this Friday. So if that's confusing to you, then fine. Um... Anyway, I hope it's not too weird to be doing this, but it's just something an alcoholic does to keep things more interesting for himself, really. Because uh, you can only play Warlock for so long without going completely insane. And I figured that would drop. It's been weird. I've been getting all these bag drops on my various characters that just start out. And, um, it's great. I don't have to mail so many bags over. And, um, yeah. I like it. I like having free bags. Now, on my warrior, I did have some close calls uh, over the course of his one to seven journey that you likely saw in one of my previous videos. The wolf meat should do nicely. Oh, don't worry, adventurer. I wouldn't forget my part of the bargain. Here, one of these should fit you. Hmm. I don't suppose you'd be willing to do a favor for me, lad. A stack of letters came through the past today, but I don't have the time to send them along. They're all addressed to Talin Kenai. You can find him to the west down the road. He set up camp next to the frozen lake. What do you say? Do you? While you were helping me out, this rune was given to me to pass on to you. Take some time to read it when you have a chance. I'm thinking it came from the paladin trainer Bromos. Take a gander at it and go find him inside Anvilmar when you've a chance. I hope you're here to lend us a hand, adventurer. After the last trog attack, we could use all the help we can get. I hear the buggers have been popping up all across the lands, and it seems Coldridge Valley is no exception. They've been spotted all over the hills to the southeast and near the frozen lake. And that's not all. Just a few nights ago, they attacked and overran our camp to the west. We're a bit short-handed here, lad. We need strong arms to help drive the trogs back. Okay. Probably put those there instead because they are pretty frequently needed. And not your conventional buffs a bit of a half hour long. So putting them on a key with more ready access seems a better choice.
You got me. Thank you. I've been waiting for these letters for quite some time. Unfortunately, these letters aren't all for me. This one is addressed to Grelin Whitebeard. He's not too far away if you'd like to deliver it to him. If I remember correctly, Grelin's camp is down the road to the southeast. No doubt he'll be eager to get his mail. Nothing like a day of boar hunting, eh? Though here in Coldridge Valley, there are so many boars, it almost takes the fun out of it. No need to get them charging. They're all angry and ready without any help. In fact, recently, there have been so many boars in the area, it's become dangerous for me to do my daily hunting. Long story short, if you could help me kill some of the boars, I would appreciate it. So... I'm not recording this on a Thursday. I am recording this on a Friday. Directly after my warrior recording for the same level range. So things may be a little bit stale for me. After a while, I plan to record all seven of these on the same day, if at all possible. And, uh, for that same le level range. And, um... Yeah. Although, uh... This is mostly to let them gain more rest and XP. And, uh, let me level up a little bit more. Relative to my... A little bit more relative to my uh, time spent. <clears throat> and this is sort of part of a uh, level 60 in at or under two weeks challenge kind of thing. Uh, purported by a YouTube video on YouTube channel uh, Brian4747. Brian with a Y. So yeah, it seemed interesting, so I felt that I should try something like it, if at all possible. Or 7474, sorry, I misspoke. Um, Brian 7474. Uh... I might have this guy join <clears throat> my mains guild just so I can stop getting these goddamn invites and keep in contact with my friends over there. So yeah, it's been a interesting couple hours so far. Warrior nearly died a couple times trying to get through to level 7. Paladin's probably gonna be a bit more relaxed, all things considered. And uh, I plan to do something a little bit more special for my druid, because uh, she doesn't start in Dunmoro. So that's going to be an interesting trek.
So I'm mostly playing things by ear at this point. not record any of them in order, any of these uh, spur of the moment playthrough kind of things. Hi, Paladin. Yeah. Sounds good. Excellent, I can go back to my leisurely hunting now. Thank you, adventurer. Mostly gonna be uh, hitting up all the frickin' everything. Trying to kill basically everything in my path. Trying to come up with a witty name for this character in my videos. Probably just gonna be. Hamador, although uh, it's not necessarily always going to be wielding a hammer, so I don't know about that. Shiny dwarf? Maybe. Supposed to get this delicious scalding morn brew to Dern and Furcutter inside Anvilmar a while ago now, but I had to deliver one to Grelin here first. I'll never make it to Anvilmar before the brew runs cold. You look fast. Maybe you can. Make it. This cup will only stay hot for five more minutes, and Dernan didn't order chilly morn brew, so get going. Anvilmar is to the northeast, a I'm settlement dug into the mountains. This. Thanks, adventurer, and don't forget to bring me back my mug. Like the guide told ah, me to. Excellent. It's been a while since I received word from Ironforge. My brother, Sunir, and I were sent to different parts of Don Maroc to investigate the threat posed by the trolls. The Senate has its hands full with the trogs, so they've no need for further annoyances. From what I've seen, the trolls aren't well situated here in Coldridge so Valley, actually. mostly the Southern Cave. I'd say that the army will not be necessary. A few strong arms should be more than enough. Perhaps you'd like to assist in this endeavor? I have the authority to offer compensation for your help. We drove the trogs out of Gnome Regan, but then it all went so horribly wrong. Now our home is completely irradiated, and we gnomes have been scattered all over Dunmoro. In my haste to get away from the radiation, I lost all my personal belongings and tools. It was the trolls that got them. <laughs> <laughs> 
They stole my chest, my box, and my bucket of bones. They took them back to their camp southwest of Anvilmar. I'm no adventurer. Could you find my things and bring them here to me, please? Ah, good. Now this will hit the spot. Allow me to take a small break while I enjoy this scalding morn brew. Now that hit the spot. Nothing like a piping hot, nay, scalding morn brew on a cold winter's day to warm your cackles of your soul. Here you go, adventurer. Be a pal and take this empty mug back to Nori for me, would you now? The humans have taught us a great deal about the Holy Light and how important their order is to them and to protecting all of Azeroth. We have a great respect for how it is steeped in tradition and how just one figure, one sacrifice, can make the difference between pain and salvation. The two of us are going to be working together for a bit. Anytime you think you're ready, come back to me and we'll see about getting you some training. Can't have you go out into the world unprepared now, can we? If the problems we've had here are indicative of what is happening elsewhere in our lands by Magni's beard, we have some troubles ahead of us. I can only hope that the King and Senate are taking steps to deal with the threat the Trox pose. Alright, I'm going to reload UI so my uh, cast rotation is better. And actually switches to judgment from the Seal of Righteousness. It hasn't. Get my farm hut back up to.
I've also been thinking maybe I should separate my different playthroughs of the game on different characters into different playlists. I mean, yeah. And, um... Might help people find the right videos that they're looking for. But I do schedule my uploads, so after a while, it might not be well, I don't know. It's kind of a weird consideration. I kind of want to reveal that sort of thing slowly as um, as the alt weeks. What excellent oh, adventurer! You'd be surprised how many couriers I meet who forget to do something as simple as bring back the mug. Mugs don't grow on trees, or so they tell me. Here's a little something for the effort. Thanks again for your help. Ah! Those light blasted trolls! A group of them came in the night and stole my journal! I knew better than to trust that good for nothing APR. My journal! They took it away to the cave. The one that had it? It was a big brute with some odd markings on his skin and face. I didn't get a much better look than that. You've had some luck with the trolls. Maybe you could go get it back for me. So I basically started this <clears throat> alt uh, rest cycling series because I'm coming to the realization that I'm an alcoholic at heart and I shouldn't try to be anything else by focusing one character at a time. All the time. So <clears throat> I figured I would... Uh, slowly introduce my altaholic nature to my audience and don't try to fix it. Just for reason, you know? Could be good content.
This level are just garbage, so don't need that. Extra killing <clears throat> well in a group. He's bad at surviving right now, but I'm good at that. And I'm, at, I'm bad at damage, and he's good at that. So, why not? Adventurer, many thanks for retrieving my notebook. Well, it would seem that the troll situation here in Coldridge Valley is under it's control and not much cause for worry. After I put the finishing touches on my report, I'll need someone to courier it to my brother, Sinier. I was planning on sending my apprentice to my brother, Sinier, with my report, but I would feel much better were it placed in more reliable hands. That is, of course, if you wouldn't mind. Hmm. You'll have to take the tunnel to get to Karanos. Speak with Mountaineer Thalos before going through the tunnel. It's completely infested with trogs now. Follow the road back to Anvil Mar, then keep heading east to the tunnel. Thalos is stationed nearby. How are you? Good. My Huzzah! You found them! You're an absolute savior, my friend. Here, it's not much, but it's something for the trouble I put you through. Thank you. The light be with you, adventurer. How can I help you? Whitebeard is sending you to Dunmaroch on important business. I can't very well stop you, can I? At least let me provide you with some advice and directions. The trogs in the tunnel are extremely hostile and haven't shown any hesitation in attacking travelers through the tunnel. You seem tough enough, though, so you should probably be safe. Directions? 
If you're going to speak with Sendia, you'll find him in Karanos. Make your way through the tunnel, and after you come out on the other side, just keep following the road. It'll run right into Karanos. Hey! You look like a hardy adventurer. If you're planning on braving the pass, do you suppose you could bring a package to the inn in Karanos? You were planning on stopping at the inn, right? If you make it through the pass, you'll definitely want to take a breather there. Anyway, bring this to Tannic Frosthammer, the innkeeper's assistant. I can't get through the pass myself, and it'll be days until a mountaineer escort comes through. Probably gonna make the professions the same as my warrior from last week. Just uh, skinning and mining. goodies I get while I grind. for self heals. God, I missed it so much. It's kind of why I'm doing Paladin this week. what though if I do any dungeons I'll either do DPS or 
healing. Swap back and forth every now and then. Check my auto gear setting. Retribution, yeah. Okay. Not too bad. Might, I might do something a bit different for um, for my druid. Probably not mining, skinning. Um, more likely herbalism skinning to more closely fit with their theme and with their feral form. Because I want to be able to get things while I'm there. Spawning bullshitters, man.
Yeah, Holy Light's not great for in-combat heals, though. <coughs> but, uh, yeah. It exists. As I said last week in the warrior video for the same level range, I'm probably not going to be doing too many quests. And, uh, that means I'll be turning, other, turning in the quests I do get as early as possible, instead of waiting for the guide to tell me to turn it in. This is about me becoming more self-reliant when it comes to gameplay guidance as I level, but also a little more skilled in combat. Christiana Pint. Watch your back. Can I help you? If you ask me, there's no greater profession than a miner. And if you ask me, there's no greater miner than a dwarf. Since I've got enough silver left over, how about I train cooking? I'll keep them fed, kid. Yep, Daryl Rick soon at your service. And first aid.
What's happening? Safe Not travels. The esteemed Dr. Gustav van Housen can train you further. He can be found in Theramore treating the wounded at the barracks. I tried fighting this guy as a warrior and uh, my warrior nearly died. <laughs> uh, lovely. Luckily Paladin is a bit more tanky and packs heals. What's this? Ah, my brother's report. Hmm. I told him to be sparing with the use of the king's name, but he didn't listen. No harm, I suppose, though it's sure to ruffle some feathers in the Senate. Not that those weren't some feathers that needed ruffling. Ha ah! Nonetheless, I guess that means that I should send my report onto Ironforge as well, but I must admit I'm a bit behind. Bloody cold. I should have some work for you later if you're interested. Nothing my tavern patrons enjoy more than some beer-basted boar ribs. Only problem is, the local trapper who used to bring me supplies enlisted in the King's army to help with the war on the Alliance front. Maybe you can help me out. If you bring me Maybe six later. crag boar ribs and a rhapsody malt from the tavern here, I'll give you the family recipe for my famous beer-basted boar ribs, not to mention a free sample, the secrets in the malt. Ah, at last, the supplies from hands. I was beginning to worry. We've had scarce word from Anvilmar ever since the trogs overran the pass. Thanks for bringing this to me, adventurer, and please make yourself comfortable. 
You must be tired after your journey. The malt is brewed, the boars are dead. And before all is done and anything said, we will have to fight for first dibs on these savoury beer-basted boar ribs. Belding Steel Grill owns the local mechanic shop and he's the best siege engine tech there is. But he's not forgiving to his tools. I swear he almost breaks more arc light spanners than we could supply him with. We just filled his last order for tools. If you deliver it to him, I'm sure he'll make it worth the effort. His shop, Steel Grill's Depot, is just northeast of Karanos. And it's a local haunt for veteran siege engine pilots, so keep your ears open for opportunities while you're there. Thank you. I'm preparing to start a mission for the Siege Brigade. It's a long one, and I need to stock Jet Steam with a month's worth of supplies. So while Steel Grill is working on my tank, can you do some hunting for me? I'll need some fur for bedding and boar meat for food. You can get meat from boars and fur from the bears. You can find them They're both mining. in the snow fields south of the Grizzled Dead. Find minerals. Driving a siege engine isn't for everyone. It takes an iron grip and nerves of steel. I did send Lucky myself I a care both. package. How about you? How's your metal? Want to prove it to me? Well, and the old to make my engine troll plow a little more cozy. You have my tools. Well done, lad. Well done. I just broke my last fang ratchet an hour ago, and I need one of those to finish repairs on Pilot Stone Gear's siege engine. You did a good thing by lugging those tools here, adventurer. Here, take these coins for your help. Hegna Rumbleshot sells guns off the road to Anvilmar. Riflemen and mortar teams spend a lot of time practicing out near his shop, and he's always needing fresh ammunition. But the last crate of ammo I sent him got lost. My courier said he was camped near the Grizzled Den when Wendigo chased him away, and the fool left Rumbleshot's ammo behind. Adventurer, can you get that ammo and take it to Rumbleshot? He's been waiting for it, and I'm sure he's running low. Fair enough of that. Faster than the last time on the warrior. No lyrics, please. My Magni's beard! You sure did a lot of hunting! Thank I'm you, adventurer! Read your old barley brew experiments with his brews. Some of them taste good, some bad, and some, well, some will lay all but the stoutest dwarf flat. He lives at Brunol village, west of Karanos, and one of his drinks, Evershine, is what I want. It'll help keep me warm while I'm on the cold road, and... The blessed stuff burns so hot I can throw it in Jet Steam's furnace for a burst of power. That little tactic has gotten me out of more than one tight spot.
Yeah, and I don't plan to keep any of the products I I've the finest get wares from in the, the professions, land. so I just vendor them. And I don't want to craft Watch your back. beer basted boar ribs. Seems like a waste of time. Um, we'll take three of these, return the other one, take the rest. Just a few things, you know. I can train you in first aid techniques. Right. Um. Off with you. How are ya? Uh, Gortus glitter pie is fun. And I'll keep the bear based boar ribs from the quest. See you soon. And I will call that good. Um, so I plan to do these. Well, I plan to upload one of these introductory things once a week. So um, I'm not inundating you with Cold Ridge Valley leveling content every day. Also, uh, here's the full guide, more or less. Uh, area by area, and credit for this guide goes to Fluffy Sandwich and Brian7474 on YouTube, Brian with a Y, for showcasing it. And, um, yeah, hope you liked it. Like and subscribe. More to come.